Hi, my name is Raul and I'm in my sixth and final year of law. So my name is Janice and I'm in my final semester, fourth year, of studying politics, international relations and socio-legal studies. My name is Mia and I'm studying commerce and advanced studies. My majors are business information systems and business law. Uh, I'm Vipasha, I study a Bachelor of Arts in majoring in politics and international relations. Uh, my name is Sefer Jamshidi Fard. Um, I'm an undergraduate student here studying Bachelor of Arts majoring in international relations and comparative literature. Yeah, Slick overall was really memorable, but something that really stood out was obviously the trip that we got to go on. We went up to the north coast of New South Wales and we spent really amazing time with our peers. I never got so close to my classmates. We also spent some really invaluable time talking to leaders, community leaders and Aboriginal um, communities there and it was really fantastic to learn firsthand about their experiences. Actually getting to be vulnerable with one another, sharing our own fears, our own life experiences and things that shaped us really helped us work with communities in more of an effective way but also treat each other with respect throughout the unit. You do a lot of research at uni that's online um, when you're trying to solve problems that are put to you and I think Hearing real voices from the community was markedly different from doing online research and it meant that I was able to do some really good work that was informed by real people. Something that I learnt from the Aboriginal leaders about the housing crisis and how we can address it is the real focus on community and, and that there are models of how we should build housing and address housing that accommodate those community and those um, social and emotional well-being factors that it's not just about having dwellings that everyone can live in, it's about having something that can cater for our needs socially as well as physically. I think the first one is recognising that in a lot of our fields that Indigenous peoples are leaders in these fields. For me, policy, looking at the issue of housing, for example, when we went to the North Coast, um, community leaders there have been doing so much work and it's a lot of work that we can learn from. I think also being able to get expertise from a range of students from so many dif um, different disciplines is very valuable and actually getting to work with communities is something that I think all students should try and have within their university experience. Um, I think SLIC allows us to understand the problems facing First Nations communities which allows us to understand the issues that face society more broadly. The community that you find in SLIC is something that you don't find in university and university is often quite isolating so through SLIC I think I've made lifelong friends. Um, I've learnt so much along the way. Um, I believe that you can't understand societal issues without understanding the impacts of colonisation and the legacy of colonisation. The thing that we learned, and I think it's a, sort of like a universally applicable thing, creating solutions in collaboration with the community. What we learned about the housing situation over in the Northern Rivers was that a lot of these houses weren't built in collaboration and in dialogue with the community and with their particular needs. The skills that I learned about collaboration, I'm definitely going to take into whatever I do into the future. And it taught me a grounded approach to problem solving where you have to go out into the field and really sit down with people and talk to them and hear what they have to say before making choices and, and making uh, you know, evaluation of, of what needs to be done. Something unique about Slick is that you're with a bunch of students from different disciplines and you don't get that in your normal courses. Normally there's kind of one framework of thinking and Slick kind of disrupts that in a really fascinating way. I think Slick is different in many ways, but one of the big ones was probably how interactive it is. I think when we usually go into classes where with the same people once a week, don't know each other that well and by the end of the semester it's not that hard to say goodbye to everyone. But I think that with Slick it feels like a big sense of community. We all went on the same trip together. We did workshops like the family wellbeing ones where we really had to be vulnerable with each other. It's about, it was about learning to work with others without injecting our own ideas and opinions. Um, and so really putting effort into hearing what they're saying. Yeah, I've very much enjoyed this Slick experience. I think it's 
honestly the best unit I've done at university so far. Slick is different than other units of study where there is a strong sense of community. It turns what often appears abstract academic knowledge into something that's tangible and this is done through the wisdom and knowledge of First Nations um, leaders and elders and community members. Well the community voices and the elder voices have been the, the anchor for, for the work that we do and for the report that we do. Without them, we, what we would be saying would be purely speculative, but it's through their voices that we truly get something grounded and, and uh, applicable. Slick has been really fantastic for my study overall. As a law student, I'm really interested in law reform and this slick project I worked on was an intersection of a bunch of different issues I'm really passionate about. Um, justice for Indigenous Australians, justice for the housing situation and for the climate, and it all came together in one. And if you're interested in how we can address these issues, you should definitely pick slick. I believe that the slick program allows us to understand the way trauma affects how we operate in the world and how trauma-driven responses affect our actions and how that caused a lot of the issues that we see in the world today. The Slick experience for me has been quite transformational. I study politics and that's often policy in a very top-down way, in a very research-centred way. So I've really enjoyed actually meeting communities, listening to their voices and then working with them and amplifying their voices so that policies can truly reflect their concerns and wishes as well. I would recommend Slick to other students because it's been so much fun and so practical. Yeah, I definitely would. I think if anyone has space for this unit in their degree, it's definitely something that they should do. It's just been a great experience, I think, yeah. In the future, I see an Australia where Indigenous people are really at the forefront of everything that we're doing. Um, both like settler Australian and Indigenous Australians can come together to make decisions. And so I think the cultural competency the ability to listen will help me to have those conversations and elevate their voices and empower them. I've never been more motivated to do work for a subject. I think the work was so meaningful and we were able to learn by traditional ways of like knowing, being and doing, which has just made everything so meaningful and it's really motivated me and made me enjoy coming to class, enjoy doing the assignments. So I definitely recommend it to others. I would absolutely recommend Slick to other students. I think the sense of community that's fostered in Slick is unbelievable and not experienced in normal university courses. Um, I, if I do go into the political sphere, I believe Slick. Um, the emphasis from Slick is to forefront Aboriginal ways of. Um, knowing, doing and being and I believe that it's made me more cognizant of this and that we need to centre Aboriginal voices and knowledges in everything that we do and I think that by doing this there's a lot of hope for change. <laughs>